My dream of, of becoming an author and being uh, the creator of these reading buddies, I, I never imagined in my wildest dreams that this would happen. This all started because I wanted to teach my students in fourth grade all about figurative language. I know that it started a few years ago with a friend of mine who's an art teacher at Rancho Bernardo High School. And then I said, use your creativity, and here's what she came up with. These are raining, and he was shaking like a dog. And I asked my kids, what figure of speech is that? Shaking like a dog. And they didn't know. And I taught them that that's a simile. Similes compare by using like or as. Will you? You're going to see it all the time in shows that you watch on TV, especially music. Listen to this. That's a metaphor. my students that any time they come across a simile, when I'm reading, just raise your hand and show me that you understand that it's a simile comparing two things. If it's a metaphor that compares by saying one thing is something, raise both hands. So while soccer ball dances on his foot, that's personified. Alex has a big brown bat, that's alliterative. Haley's holding a frog, frogs croak, that's onomatopoeia, American stories. Raise your hand if you're reading an American Stories theme. That's what we were doing. We were reading in American Stories, and this was a story of John B. Stetson. Now, John Stetson, the story was called Boss of the Plains. John Stetson is a very, very famous early American. In fact, he was born in 1830. He was a One of my little girls says, Mr. Anella, why don't you do something like that? And I said, I would love to. I know that you guys look at these posters that are up on the wall, but after you look at them, it doesn't really work. I, I always wanted to, I always wanted to make those into a little character, a little doll. And then, my so now you just learned your third figure of speech, onomatopoeia. So as the story continues, these were now starting to look like my reading buddies. I told Morty, I told Morty, I said, you're on the right track. They're starting to look like my posters, and I like it. We had one more problem on our hands, and that problem was, I said, take a look at their ears. They're flapping out. Of I said, Morty, you look like, you look like this, and you want to be a doll? <laughs> so I told him, I said, look, to make my dolls, I had to start with those had a lot of fun. <laughs> and I turned Morty into a doll. It's not alliterative. Go, go, go. Shout out, shout out. It's, it's exaggeration. Show me the E. The other name? Tell me, keep going, Miss Trinella. I like what you're doing. You're on fire. Now, was I really on fire? Or was just pretty good at what I was doing? I realized that I could put the text up there. Now this was the first sketch and, and page she ever illustrated. And right then, I realized that this was going to become a reality. So I took my digital... Show me the P, show me a letter P for personification. Anytime something that's not human does something human, it's personified. Fred ferociously. Tracy's trolley trundled towards trouble. Gary got. Everybody's holding up the over onomatopoeia. You guys are absolutely right. So far, you're 100%. You ready? Here we go. Enter the room. She muttered under her breath, 
This class is like a three ring circus. Not this school, but some schools. How about number three? And instead of this, she said, how about something like this? <laughs> and I went, nice. I like that a lot.